I'm Laura Liebman in the English department and in Human 10, and I'm here with my thesis student, Ella, who has incredibly generously agreed to record a sample of how you would meet with a thesis student or do a paper conference. And Ella, do you want to just say something about your thesis really briefly so people know what you're doing? Certainly. So I'm Ella. Um, I am a senior here in the English department. Um, I'm doing a thesis on the relationship between um, trauma and stand-up comedy. And um, I've been working on this thesis for several months now, and I'm all done with the writing and nearly done with the revision. And, uh, you know, that's just because I'm special. Um, but uh, I uh, will say that this is also the first time I'm using Zoom, and uh, I'm actually really impressed because uh, even though we've had like a weak signal or we've been told that there's a weak signal in the Wi-Fi system, um, it hasn't cut out. It's like better than Skype, um, certainly better than Skype. And I really like the function, um, at least for the purposes of paper conferences where you can um, share your screen, which I can demonstrate right now. So I will show you all um, where I am in my thesis document. This is um, basically the template of my thesis that I'm working on. And uh, so with this capability, basically what I've been able to do is um, look over like what I've already done with Laura and just show her just the, um, the progression I've made on the document and putting everything in the template, um, which has been really great. And I can also share this. Um, I think you can also share full desktop, but you can share certain, yeah, yeah. you can just share certain um, screens if you want to. And so this is making it super duper easy because Laura in real time can see like, basically, excuse me, what I'm doing and uh, where I'm at just in the document in general, if it's not already on a certain like Google drives that uh, she could see it. And uh, it's really easy to get out of that as well. And so, I mean, this is, cer I'm certainly really impressed with this because it's basically like we're still having a thesis meeting in your office. I was gonna say, only Hurley is a little bit more virtual. Hurley the pilot. Yeah. Is Usually over. I have a dog on my lap in these meetings. Yeah. <laughs> Hurley, Hurley sits on Ella's lap, so there's that. That's a little sad. Yeah. yeah, well, I would say just to show from my side, so, as long as I go, I'll put on share screen for myself and move it over to desktop. And uh, so you can see that I have the file of the thesis that was shared with me. This is stuff that's not in uh, the thesis template. Yeah. You can sort of see how we were using it before that I've gone through with the thesis draft. And normally I would go in and Google Drive and I would add in comments. comments. Um, usually I put it into, um, so there's the comments. Usually I put it into suggesting mode. Mm -hmm. So that when I make changes in here, like, um, like I don't like this, that, and I delete it, it actually shows, and Ella has the option of saying, um, I want to <laughs> accept that change so if i would scroll over a little bit you could see that on my screen that i ella can go through and accept or reject so this is a yeah bit, so ella would reject it because ella is smart and I think uh, done on this document i do have one where i've commented with you at least on the intro yeah yeah so we've been using google drive for a while anyway but here i can write in comments like hey maybe you want to start with blah blah and then um Ella can resolve those as they go along and decide like that's not interesting to me or like yeah I dealt with that issue gone and those get taken care of so that's a good way to go back and forth between two people and right. be able to share things what I think is different about this than when I'm just when I've used just Google Drive before is it is nice to be able to see what Ella's got on Ella's computer yeah. because they have different stuff than is appearing in my drive. So particularly as we're getting towards the finish line and Ella has stuff that's not, we don't want to keep everything in the Google Drive format, but they have stuff that's actually in the thesis template. And I can see that version just by looking to see what Ella's got as well. So that sharing function seems really helpful. I'm gonna, um, and then we can go back to having um, it not shared as well. So yeah, we'll stop sharing for a moment and get rid of that. Boop. 
only I said share, so it's get rid of it. Okay, so that's just a, like a quick overview. L, are there other things that you think are useful for people to know? I'm trying to think of what we had problems with when we first set it up of figuring out. Like at least in, in terms of the Google Docs and the Google Drive sort of thing? Or the Zoom when we were setting up earlier today. Really? Um, so that was like kind of the most interesting part to me is that right. um, it really did not take long to download. Like yeah. my computer was like, do you want to trust this file? And I was like, sure. And then uh, in a couple clicks, like I was ready to go and it said like, do you want to join a specific thesis meeting or do you want to join a meeting? And then um, there was a number um, similar to a phone number that you could just type in and um, it just comes up automatically. You don't have to set up an ID. You don't have to set up anything like that. You just have to have the number for the specific conference that you want to be in and um, it just started working automatically which was great um, and like I said even though um, there's been a few times where our connection has become like unstable it has not completely um, cut out and now I don't know how well that's going to work for my house because I can I only speak for myself and saying my house does not have great internet um, so we, we went over a little bit of this in the Hume meeting earlier today so you'll notice if you went back to the original invitation you could call in if you needed to, and then you wouldn't have the video. Right. But there's also an app for Zoom that you could use on your phone. So if your phone works better than your computer and it maybe just has lower needs in terms of what's going on with the internet access, that's another option too. And you could connect, it still have the video function if you're using your phone using that. Right. right. So, I mean, it's, and you know, you can always, um, like also like with phones, there's easy to set up hotspots if you have a smartphone. Yeah. So that's something I have done before in times of need and in a pinch. And so um, it's, it's like super capable and I would say it's pretty easy. Um, I'm really, really impressed by this because it's truly like, you know, the lag is not terrible. Um, which is, I'm really surprised about that, actually. Well, notice, uh, well, it'll be interesting to see what happens with the recording. When I was recording using QuickTime earlier today, um, it definitely, you could see where we were having lags, and I was having lags on internet connection, and mm -hmm. it would cut out occasionally. But, you know, honestly, I, I'm with you. Compared to, like, Skype, so much better. Yeah. And so, I mean, I have not yet used this in, like, a conference-style setting, um, and I'd be curious to see that. That's going to start next week for me. So, um, um, just as a little preview for that, one thing that's useful to know is that um, you see, if you go to the bottom of your little picture window, right. you'll see that there's reaction, so you can use that. Oh, yeah, I see. You can also um, um, manage participants. You can also do... Um, um, do under the screen share for different options. You can also have it so that you're not sort of flubbing, but um, there's a, another possibility is that you can raise your hand electronically and that way the person, everybody can see whether you've got your hand raised. Yeah. And people can know whether it's their time to talk or not. So Absolutely. Um, really not a problem when it's just the two of us, but there are other options. But Seems like this is useful just for seeing what's going on for Zoom for having a paper conference. And we basically, I was using it earlier with one of my first year students and it seemed, he hadn't used it before either, it seemed pretty good. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think this is fine. I think like, at least where I'm at in the thesis and uh, okay. what I have to do for like, at least my personal, like rest of my year for the thesis, it's like more than doable through this format. Um, I think that, uh, yeah, I think it would be fine. I'm assuming other departments, especially like other like HSS, English, Lit and Languages, this should be a fine option. I feel bad for our friends in, uh, who have to data collect right now, um, which is, you know, why I, I was never good at science anyway, but now it just, uh, re this pandemic has reified uh, certainly my beliefs in being an English major and getting things done early. So, <laughs> yeah, I would say time management here has paid off for you in space. Okay, so I'm going to stop the recording, but thank you so much, Ella, for showing people what it was like from the student side. And I'm ending the recording, but I'm not getting rid of you all together. Cool. Thank you all. Good luck. Thanks.